What's going on guys and welcome back to another scum video. I hope you're all doing well. Ladies and gents, as you know, I'm sponsored by Gigi Host, so don't forget to use my affiliate link down below if you're to rent yourself out a server for a couple of your mates to play on or a few of them, or you want to make your next big community server, then don't forget to use my affiliate link down below for those big open world survival games there. And don't forget to use my name, Rake It, in the promo code section just before you purchase it to get your 50% off guys the performance and the support is absolutely phenomenal thank you very much right getting into this video this video is mainly for beginners but if you are experienced as well this is going to be well everyone's going to learn something every day is a school day so to speak but this is predominantly for new players coming into the game and you know it's first time feet on the ground and uh, what to do so i'm not going to show you exactly how to play the game i'm just giving you some tips that's really going to benefit you on the get-go um, now on my character if we just press tab um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to metabolism and we're just going to look up the top left here so we, you can see where I'm highlighting uh, my main attribute strength, con constitution, dexterity and intelligence is all set at three ladies and gents. This is a prime example of a medium typical character that you're going to set because basically every um, on, on all of your attributes if you set them all to three you can get up to two medium uh, skills so you can see melee and archery I've set to medium constitution running endurance medium dexterity stealth and thievery medium uh, and survival and engi engineering medium so everything is kind of like even level with that it's an even plane right there um, that isn't really what I wanted to talk about but I'm just showing you where my character is currently at so I've just set three 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 for every single thing now when you get your feet on the ground here what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a few things that's really going to benefit you now if you press tab go up to if you look at the top you can see the tabs i'm going to here now if you look at crafting you have so many different items here now if you go to the starred menu that means you have things in there that you can use quickly so in the future if you die or you know or anything like you want to craft things um then you can go back and use these you know it's, it's more efficient now if you look at the stone knife here and melee weapons right so if you right click it add to favorites Small stone axe head add to favorites. Now the large stone axe head and the large, um, which, which in turn is going to make us a an axe, which is the stone axe. Now if you wanted to make the large stone axe, uh, the big stone axe, then you would need to use the big stone axe head. I don't really know any difference between these two, so we're just going to stick with a normal axe. So we've made the small stone axe head uh, there. Right, okay, so put the spear, add that to favorites as well from this. Now you, you are going to have a different style to how I play. This is just everything that I'm going to be putting in, right? So wooden arrows, we're going to add to favorites as well, a 35 pound bow. We're going to add to favorites. So you can even add the gloves, uh, which these rag gloves, you can add them to favorites. Uh, the improvised career backpack, add to favorites. We need to add the rope to favorites. Um, and these are the first things we're really going to add to favorites. Um, everything else is optional there. Right now, this is going to give you a good head start in everything. So now we click the start and you can see we have most things um, here that we are going to be crafting right now. Now, if you find yourself a small um, rock pile or anything like this, we are sort of in the lower sectors on the map um, right so we've just pressed f we've searched press tab and now you can see these are grayed out over here on the right hand side see where it says melee weapons they're now grayed out so you can either now make a small stone axe head or a stone knife we're going to start by making a stone knife like most survival games you cannot continue unless you have something to craft something with so now we're going to find something sharp so this is what we're going to do and don't forget to pick it up off the floor as well as it is in vicinity so put that drag that into your uh into your hands there so you, you can now see this and um right so what we're going to do is we're going to go find a few bushes so we want a few bushes that are together that's going to make life a bit easier for us so we're now going to move let's go down here and we're going to find a big bush pile because we're going to need these sticks so now what we're going to do is we're now going to craft so press f onto a bush and you start chopping it we're now going to craft a axe because these don't last five minutes and if you look into the bottom right hand corner where my stone knife is down here look at the little number in the very far bottom right hand corner it says 92 percent these don't last five seconds so we need to make something stronger right so we have three small stone uh, three small wooden sticks at the top along with two long wooden sticks uh, right click one and click cut into small sticks because we're going to need these small sticks we need five of them to craft rope and that's what we're going to have to do to attach our stone axe head to our stick so as you can see here we can now make rope and in a moment we're going to go and search for a stone axe head uh, or we're going to craft one out of two rocks in a moment and i'll show you that so just wait for him to craft that okay so as you can see in vicinity we now have the rope we can well, i can't put that in there right now um so we've got the rope there we're going to leave that there just for a minute we're going to go up here go back to a rock pile press tab we've got three there we don't need three we need two so we're gonna go small stone axe head and craft 
And the beauty of this menu, guys, is everything is just so more efficient to find what you need. This is the point I'm making, and it makes things so much faster and more efficient. So I'm going to put the stone axe head in my hand, go back over here. Now, as you can see, um, I've got the rope and I've got a small stick, but we need, I think we need a large, a long stick for this. And we're going to go back to crafting menu in just a second. So now you can see we've got long sticks, we've got the rope, and we have the stone axe head. So you can see here we can now, or should be able to, oh, I didn't put it in. Um, okay, so go back there, sorry, right click the <laughs> right click the axe and add to favourites. Go back to star, and now you can see it's greyed out, which means we can now craft that. And there we go. You will notice as well, some items will craft faster than others. So now that we've crafted this, we now have a stone axe, which we can put on our back. And we can still use our stone knife until that runs out as well. So let's cut down some more sticks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bag. We're going to make a courier backpack. Or an improvised backpack, sorry. Uh, okay, so now that we've got some sticks and stuff, we have the stone knife in our hands, we've got the axe. What we're going to do now, because if you click on the bag, which is here, and then go down to this, this uh, tab here that says details, it tells you what you need. So you can see we need three rags. We need out of six rope, right? So we need at least out of six rope, and we need a cutting tool, which we already have. We've got the axe and stuff. So we need three rags and some more rope. Our rope right now says four out of ten, which is up here, but we need six. So we've probably got enough sticks there. So let's go back to the menu and craft some more rope. And this is something I really, really, really love about this survival game is you have everything at hand to build and craft things on the fly when you need to with many supplies around the map as well. Okay, so our pants and bo our boxes and our socks over this side, guys, we're going to cut into ranks. So now we're going to cut these up and we're going to turn this, hopefully, get three rags out of all of these. And I don't think I'm going to get three rags out of these, actually. I might have to cut up my undershirt here. Or actually, we could try the, 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 um, we could try this. Let's try this. Let's cut this up. And see what happens. Hopefully we should have enough regs. There we go. Now you can see, you see that actually change on the fly there. So now we can craft a courier backpack. And then what we're going to do in a second, we're going to craft our first weapon. Straight after we've done this. So we've got four rags now. We got the rope and we got a long stick. And something to craft with as well. Actually, I don't know if we needed the long sticks there. No, we didn't need the long sticks. My bad. So this is going to benefit you in so many ways in terms of speed, guys. It really is going to help out massively. And now you're going to have something to put other things in like a bag. So there we go. Look, we've now got a, ba a backpack. Check that out. Looking good. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're now going to craft a bow. Now, with the bow, we need a 6 out of 6. Now, we have 8 out of 10 rope left up here, which you can see. So, we can actually craft this bow now. And this is a 35-pounder. And I can assure you, ladies and gents, the bow is one of the most powerful weapons in the game if you're good at it. This will save you so much um, time, uh, especially when you get around the puppets as well. Right, so we have three slots. Um... Basically, I'll show you what I mean by that. We have, um, we can fit one stick there, one stick there, or we can make them arrows. So we can fit three sticks in there, which we're not going to really need that, or we can make up to 36 arrows, three sets of 12. Um, so if I right click the small sticks here, I'm not going to fill the whole bag up because, like I said, this is not going to be a 10 minute video now, I think. Um, and I'll just chop up one more small set of sticks. And now you're about to find out what the auto craft button does which is something we didn't have before. So if you go over to crafting, let's go back on, click on the star if you want to go back to the star. Now you can see the wooden arrow that we've made. Now I'm not going to get into all the other different arrows, so you can see the different arrow types here, guys, but you need more items. If you want to know how to make and craft any of these, just click on this little details button down here on the bottom right-hand corner. See that? There you go. So you can see you need feathers and sticks for that if you want to make, like, feathered arrows. Right, so I want you to click on wooden arrow, and obviously we've got a load of small sticks, so if you've got long sticks, cut them up into small sticks and craft them into arrows. So now we've set the arrows into our starred area, and obviously the arrow is a type of ammunition. Um, it's gone into the ammunition tab. Now click the middle one that says auto craft. So now, that's just going to auto craft all of them until either you run out of your cutting tool, which is your stone knife and your axe. Um... 
or you run out of um, ammo and resources, which is obviously your wooden sticks. So you can see now there's no more wooden sticks to craft. So you click on the inventory tab and then just double click on the arrows in vicinity, which you can see there. And now you can see them on the left hand side. Um, and now if we click one, uh, no two rather, that's now going to get our bow out. If you press enter on the numeric keypad, that also changes it from uh, first person to uh, to third person as well. Now I know there's going to be some people saying, why are you making the most simple, most obvious tutorial? Well, firstly, this is how new players learn. And we're always getting new people watching the streams and the videos and stuff like that as well. So it's always nice to put out something that's really going to benefit the player in terms of speed. So look, look at what we've done in under 10 minutes. You can do this so much faster than me because I've been talking and stuff. Now, if you left click, you can now fire arrows. So now you can fire arrows over to this tree. You can pop an arrow in this tree and you should be able to see it. There you go. And you should be able to pick it up as well if you hover over it or click on vicinity. So if I fire the arrow again, I can click on, I can pick it up by clicking on it by pressing F or press tab and I can just drag it if I wish. And that's pretty much that. So I'm going to keep this little character to do some tutorials with you guys. I think this is going to be quite handy if any of you want to see anything. Um, predominantly, this is like beginner stuff really. Uh, so I want to see uh, what you guys come up with in the comments uh, below. So this is something that's really going to benefit you. And as you can see now, we've got a bag. We've managed to make an axe. We've managed to make a bow. And we've managed to make some ammunition. Before we go into our first town, at least we can get a... Um, we can, you know, discard those uh, puppets if we really need to. So thank you very much uh, for your patience and checking out the video, guys. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, to hit that like as well to get this video out there as we continue our adventures with scum. So thank you very much. And don't forget to leave a comment. Take care, guys.